Today, Monty Python presents The Lord of the Rings. Oh, and it's written by that famous British author. No, no, that's not it. Uh, no, 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 The Lord of the Rings by J.K. Mosspass. <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago there were some very tiny people, apparently they liked food quite a bit, but one of them got some bad jewellery and had to get rid of it. So, he started marching around the place looking for some people to help him get rid of the thing. And this takes us to the first important scene in this epic piece of work. The meeting of the Council of the Rings, as portrayed by the Australian Philosophical Society. Ian <laughs> Bruce. Uh, Ian Bruce. Ian Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Bruce. Uh, Bruce. Bruce. Uh, Bruce. so they had a bit of a battle. This battle, of course, being the battle for Middle Earth, as performed by the Ladies Auxiliary of the S23. Hello. <laughs> Lovely to see you all. I'm glad you could turn out for this, our performance of the Battle of Middle Earth. You may recall last week when we performed the Battle for Narnia, in which Mrs. Fisdale here did a marvelous job as that Jesus Lion fellow. <laughs> so today, we will bring you the battle for Middle Earth. Thank you very much. But we did come upon a giant ending, and then another one, and there was another ending in there. We're going to take you to the fifth and I think penultimate ending. <laughs> the reunion between Samwise Gamgee's and Frodo, as portrayed by Mr. Gumby and Mr. Gumby. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
story, and there are actually about five more endings, but of course, if you want to know how they come out, you'll have to read it your bloody self. Or get the DVD available for 19.95 at Target and most other establishments around. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, crushed home. <laughs> 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 